Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all had a great week. If you guys are new here, I'm Alicia and I love Halloween and all things creepy and spooky. So if you want an awesome tutorial for this Halloween, then I've got you covered. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It means so much. I upload every Monday and YouTube shorts every day. So I am starting off with this Kryolan Clown White Face Paint, but I just realized I was like, oh no, I need to map out the mouth first. So I used this Kind and Free eyeliner from Rimmel. I really like this Kind and Free range. And I just started tracing the mouth of the creepy clown. Now this clown's inspired by a face chart on Instagram. I'll leave the person that does face charts down below in the description box. And I was also inspired by like the Joker and Saw because the new Saw X movie is out and I'm so excited to see it. It only just released like two days ago. So I am gonna go and watch that. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. I love Saw movies, they're like my favorite. So I cover my face in face paint and then I set that with a white eyeshadow just so it's easy to blend other eyeshadows on top and this brush was perfect. This is actually my friend Sarchin's. He left it in my um, makeup bag when we went to the Barbie event. Um, so yes, he said I could keep it. It's honestly really good. Um, now I am taking the Body FX face paint palette. These are water activated paints. Um, sometimes better than an eyeliner because I always used to use liquid liners and they always used to run out and I was just spending so much money on liquid liners if I didn't get scent any. So black water activated paints is the best bet because it lasts so much longer and you're not going to keep running out. So now I take this Wet n Wild cream stick and I'm just tracing in the teeth. Um, I liked using this because it's like a small stick that's easy to draw on otherwise you can take a small brush dip it in that face paint that I used or any kind of white face paint and draw in the teeth but I just found this so easy so I'm just drawing the teeth where I want them to be and a tip if you're doing a mouth make sure that you start the mouth like right under your nostrils so the teeth can the top teeth can finish just above your top lip line um, or where your mouth opens if that makes sense so the teeth aren't going all like weird and funny like down past your lip line it's something that I learned and it may makes scary mouth makeup look so much more realistic um, so yeah and I also do the teeth really like fat at the root and skinny at the tips um, and kind of do some in like different directions but I did most of them in the same direction I do like it when I do them in different directions like the angles of the teeth Set that with white eyeshadow and I'm taking this H2O waterproof liquid liner which was insanely good and this doesn't run out because you just like dip it into the liquid liner so I do recommend this instead of like a pen liquid liner because it just runs out on top of your paint. And I take this um, Body FX palette again. This is the Vibrant palette. I really like this because it's just a staple palette with most of the primary colors that you need. And I take this black and do some shading in the teeth, um, just at the top of the root and on one side. And then I take this yellow because teeth aren't stark white. I thought it add some dimension. This mouth actually took me the longest out of the whole look because I wanted, wanted it to look really good. Like the mouth is the eye catching thing to this look. So you want it to look really good. And I used that eyeliner to fill in all the gaps. I could have used my water activated paint, but this, as you can see, is like super black. So I love that liquid liner for looks. It's honestly amazing. Um, and now I'm taking the white water activated paint for that from that Body FX face paint palette and doing little highlights to the teeth. This part here is crucial. The more details you add like this, the more realistic and more like 3D it's going to look. Uh, and then I take these two like red shades from the palette and fill in this little gum line that I had in between the teeth. And as you can see here, I'm adding highlights to the gum line, which made it look really cool and really realistic. Now what I do is I take some of that black eyeshadow in the red and kind of just draw around the mouth, do a little bit of shading and make like kind of circular shapes around the top of the teeth. Um, so yeah, makes it look really cool. And then I did this whole look out of order. I started to do the nose of the clown, 
So I just do a circle on my nose and then I take the red eyeshadow and fill that nose in and I just do about two layers so it's extra intense and I take some black and shade in one side of the nose and I did this cute little shine on one side of the nose. Now this is where I'm inspired by Saw, so I don't know if you know that puppet guy, the creepy one with the um, red spirals and the mouth, so that mouth, those two lines down by the mouth is like inspired by that. It's like a puppet clown. I don't know, but you'll see it coming together. Like I like I said, I do everything so out of order. So I moved on from that mouth and I'm just taking red eyeshadow and really smoking it out and taking a big fluffy brush to really blend out that eyeshadow. This is just the red from that same palette. And I squeeze this brush and take that red around the mouth as well. I just like smudge it in everywhere just to tie in the colors together. So the main colors I used were red and white and black for this look so yeah just trying to tie in all the colors now i'm taking some black to deepen up that eyeshadow and as you can see i'm doing everything so out of order i don't know why i was doing it this way i swear i always do this with clown looks for some reason um i just think it helps it like come together and it like helped me envision what i was doing a bit more so i'm using this to fill in some eyebrows. I do some lines in the front just to make it look quite like pop arty. By the way, this was so hard to get out of my eyebrows and out of my eyelashes. Um, it really stuck to it like glue. So just warning you in case you get the liquid liner. But it is really good, honestly. It's probably one of the best liquid liners I've tried and perfect for creepy looks. So I go back to the mouth because I was like, okay, something's missing. So I'm glad I did this. So I added some highlight around the mouth and then I started working on the puppet jaw. And as you can see, it kind of made it look more 3D, like putting this white around it, just made it pop a bit more. Now I'm working on like the two little clown triangles that a lot of clowns have. Um, like I said, I got inspired by this person that does face charts and they did one inspired by Saw and it gave me the idea so I wanted to give them credit in this video they are so talented sometimes you don't even have to be inspired by other artists this person just does like digital animated face charts and um, of like makeup looks and honestly you get so much inspo from them as an artist so I'll leave them linked below so I did some black at the top of the triangles and then blended the rest of them in red and I did two little dots but I changed that to circles later and now I'm doing this big dramatic like graphic liner and I tried my best to get them um, symmetrical I really struggle with that but I feel like I'm getting better so it's like a big winged liner and then you just want to like you can see what I'm doing here you want to just attach it up and then fill in that whole area with the black liquid liner Then, yeah, I just really point the inner corners in, and I extended it quite a bit. Then what I did was I set that whole thing with black and then just smoked out the eyeshadow a little bit above the line, just so it looked really seamless. And as you can see here, it started coming together. Look at me and my makeup skills getting better. <laughs> now I take some black and just add that into the red on the mouth. I just really wanted it to stand out and this just made it really pop and it made it the center of attention. Honestly, I was so happy with this mouth. So now I'm taking this red activator paint from the same palette and I'm doing this like line around the black, but the red kind of like faded in quite a lot anyway. So you couldn't really see this, but I guess it just added some depth. Oh my God, I'm yawning. It is 5.46. So I always work it in the evening. I'm more productive in the evenings after like 12. I'm always like that. Um, so anyway, I am doing these little spirals on my cheeks. I was annoyed because I did the left side really tight and I did the right side here really like loose, if you know what I mean. Like it wasn't, it didn't match up to the first one, but you can't really notice like when you do this look, but I suggest that you try and get them more even. i like how I did. So now I work on the triangles above the forehead, trying to get them as symmetrical as I can and just shading that in like the tops of those. And then I just grab the red eyeshadow, fill in that gap and I take black eyeshadow to kind of like help smudge it down from the black liquid liner. 
Now I'm taking this Thin Lizzy Duo Eye Pencil and I am lining my waterline, just making it super black. And then I extend these inner corners of the clown because I think it just made it look more clown-like and more like evil. Now I needed some red blood tears. So I take the water activated paints and just draw some tears down. By the way, I get all my paint brushes from Body Effects. They have amazing paint brushes. This brush is in the style Zero, which is so nice and small and defined. Perfect to do really small detailing. Um, and at first I used this liquid liner, but it was not going good on the paint. This is a brand new liner. Um, but yeah, just didn't agree with the paint underneath. So I had to go over these, but these are two like little crosses on the end of the graphic liner. And so I went back to my Wet n Wild liquid liner and look how much darker this is. Um, so I'm doing dots down the sides of the triangles and I thought this looked really cool. At first I was just going to do dots on the bottom, but I'm so glad I added it to one of the top ones. And I was contemplating doing like both sides of the top triangles, but I ended up just doing one because I didn't want it to look like too busy. So I go around the nose with that and then I go over those crosses. Honestly, the liquid liner is just so good. Best I've tried and doesn't run out because you just keep dipping it in the tube and then it just goes really really black but like I said it just gets stuck all over your face and honestly I was scrubbing so long to try and get all of this off and it looks like a crazy person. <laughs> so now I'm doing like two little crosses like on the inside of my eye and then I go around the roots of the teeth just to really darken them up, make them stand out and then I ran it, went around the forehead with the same brush I used for setting the white paint. I just took those red eyeshadows um, from that Body FX Vibrant palette and I went around my forehead, blended it down on the sides of my temples, around my jawline and then I went over my lashes again with mascara because I had white paint all throughout them and then I take this black eyeshadow and I do like these angry frown lines that come up from the eyebrows and I blended this in with a beauty blender because at first it was like a little bit harsh and I thought it looked more like blended after going on with the beauty blender. And now to work on the suit, which I think so made this look. It made it look so cool. Um, and even Matthew said it looked really cool, like the suit. He's like, oh, that's awesome. Because the Joker actually wears like a suit and Saw wears a suit. So I was like, oh my gosh, this ties in the looks so well together. And I'm so surprised no one's ever like kind of sort of incorporating them both together. But obviously the Joker doesn't have like dots down his face and stuff but I don't know I think it just kind of reminded me of the Joker because of the hair the suit the big mouth even though he has like big smudge red lips but it just kind of gave the same vibe so I work on this bow tie I use a liquid liner and blend it in with red eyeshadow and then I just do two lines in the middle like this you can do a bow tie like another way if you want but I quite liked how it looked. I take the black eyeshadow and add some shading in there just to make it look more 3D and more realistic. And then I extend the white area because I thought of doing a big collar that comes out the side. So I needed some more white space around the bow tie. And then I'm starting to draw on the suit. So I take my water activated paint and I'm drawing on my collar line, like my neckline and drawing on this cute little collar and I actually did look at a photo of a suit <laughs> on Google just so I kind of knew what I was doing. Um, so now I'm doing the buttons I just drew a line that goes straight down and some circles with two little lines in between each circle so yeah I thought this was easy to do this with the water activated paints and the little brush because it was quite like flexible. And I'm taking the black eyeshadow, adding in some dimension and detail. We need things to look more 3D, so I added this all in the different areas of the collar line. And I ended up doing this like um, down the shoulders of the t-shirt and stuff as well. But like I said, if you add detail and dimension and keep on going and going when it comes to a makeup look, it's just going to keep getting better and better. Most people like don't like their makeup look in the beginning and then give up and take it all off. Honestly, that's the worst thing you could do. I've only not put up a makeup look once 
but I actually used that makeup look for a campaign so it wasn't always the time but I've literally uploaded every single makeup look that I've ever done apart from one so I'm so proud of myself for that so now I'm taking the white paint putting that through my hair you just want to hairspray back your hair brush it and then put the paint in and then I take the red and pink and that darker red color from the eyeshadow palette and that same brush that I used for the white face paint and I just blended that throughout my hair and now I do the circles instead of those dots I thought they needed to be dots and not like those little circles and I ended up filling in these little circles with red eyeshadow which I forgot to show um, and now I'm blending that into the red eyeshadow I was just blending down my neck down my jawline adding some more to the face and finally I added some dots up the sides of these triangles as you can see I'm doing everything out of order but I think it's just because I kept adding and adding until it looked like really cool so now I fill in that suit with black I didn't show much because I actually was pulling down my top so low you could see my boob and I didn't realize until I started editing it back so sorry I didn't get much footage of that but you just want to paint all the sides of your shoulders with um, black paint now I use the white to do a pocket I ended up doing lines like across the pocket as well um, like down one side but I didn't show that um, and I did white in the bow tie and now I just keep going back and adding details to the face so I'm adding some red smudging on either sides of those triangles which made it look really good um, just did that in between the dots and then I was like okay this needs some gore so I got some um, red paint and smudged it down I should have done like scab blood at the start of this to make it look more like real blood but it still looks really cool um, and now I'm putting in these white contacts from Lens Me. This is the white mesh. And then I also did a body effects con contact. Um, I can't remember what those ones were called. Um, but they looked really cool. I'll name them down below. Adding in some more details to the white suit. And then I just thought I needed another like red drip next to that other one. Which I'm so glad I did. And here's the final look honestly it's probably one of my favorite looks i don't know why i think it just looks really cool with the suit and it's so unique and original and i hope you guys like this if you recreate it don't forget to tag me on instagram or tiktok or any of your socials don't forget to like this video if you did thumbs it up and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next week's video bye